Tyrone. Tyrone. Are you trying to update your status while I'm talking to you? <sighs> this is shit I'll be talking about. Since the beginning of ages, mankind have found numerous ways at communicating. There have been elementary style drawings, the alphabet, the telephone, computers, which gave a birthplace for a new form of communication, social media, and the most famous of them all, Facebook. Home to one billion active users, approximately one in every 13 person on earth is logged in on any given day. In 20 minutes on Facebook, 2,716,000 messages sent, 1,587,000 wall posts, 1,851,000 status updates. Oh my gosh, I love Facebook. Like everything about it, you can post a status, every thought that you think, every, every piece of food that you put in your mouth, you can put that on Facebook. And people are so interested in me, like it's so crazy. It is stated that the average man and woman both have around 130 friends, but the women have 55% more wall posts on their walls than men. 47% of those women are married, engaged, or in a relationship. Most men say they're single. I deal with, I ain't married. I'm not. This bitch married to Facebook, not me. I'm supposed to marry to him, but obviously I'm not. So See? guess what? I'm still, I'm just in a relationship. I mm. might be single after the date. So I don't give a damn. Experts say couples be wise. A new survey shows that Facebook being partially blamed for one in five of all divorces. The thing is, you shouldn't spend too much time on Facebook. It's something you must talk about with your spouse. You have to ask yourself, am I spending too much time on Facebook? No, I barely get on Facebook, bro. You a damn lie. You be on Facebook 24-7. See the shit I got to deal with? I work Ooh. five days a fucking week. Why Don't mean you nothing. Your phone with you 24-7. All I asked was a cook meal and a little Facebook time, dog. Facebook a time? Now. A little ass here now. She, I barely get that. That's Ask why. Ask about that. Because you've been effing with Facebook. That's why. Get asked from her. You should never hide things from your spouse on Facebook. That's unhealthy. You should never hide a conversation or a comment or even a friendship from them. That's never any good. And if you're doing it, stop it. I, I don't hide nothing on Facebook. So you don't hide nothing? No. I, so I you'll be in your bed, sleeping under the cover, and then next thing you know, I see you on the, with your phone. Man, I'll be Jay Cornish, you can't sit your ass down in there. Oh, People oh, on TV. You keep talking to your mama like that, yeah? Your lips gonna beat you to the hospital. Get Play in there. What? Damn, no, them don't, your children. I don't hide nothing on Facebook. His children. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't hide anything on Facebook. I bet you don't. Don't be afraid to fucking proclaim your love for your spouse on Facebook. There's nothing wrong with just saying, I love my husband in your Facebook status because then no one is confused about whether or not you're in a happy, loving relationship. And for sure, do not complain about your spouse in a status. Not good. He was supposed to be at work, but this fool in the club, he put some of that time of I'm in the club surrounded by nothing but bad bitches. But I love you though. Why you, know you love shit. me? You know what I'm saying? You love me. Can't even be Not one anyway. time have you put on there, oh, I'm with my wife and kids. Oh, I love my wife or nothing like that. Look, didn't you I need to be at home loving your chair while you're in the club at night. First of all, didn't I tell you I was trying to do this rap thing on the side? Okay, rap thing? Okay. I'm not trying to be in a junkyard for the rest of my fucking life. Okay. Straight up. All right, straight up. Okay. The status has become a worldwide phenomenon and has become a traditional importance on life. But numerous people have had hardships due to the status. He might be sleeping on the couch tonight. How the fuck am I sleep on the couch? Your mama sleep on the couch. <laughs> Roll her ass over and you get on there with her. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Oh, you can sleep in on um, Jaquan bed or Shaquilla bed. No matter, they can sleep with me. No, I'm going to send you to your sister's house. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to pack my stuff and I ain't coming back. Good. Walk, walk right out of here. No matter how many friends you have on Facebook, do not forget that your number one friend should be your spouse. Never 
take your relationship for granted because the last thing that you want is a thousand Facebook friends while the love between you and your best friend slowly dies. Man, look, everywhere I go, bro, I hustle my ass out. She talking about where I work and she been wearing the same fucking glasses for 10 years. Okay. Yes, 10 years. Yeah, you looking. What's what's that? Is that Facebook? Is that Facebook? Why are you always asking questions about it, Facebook? But is it Facebook? Is it Facebook? No. You're lying. I see Facebook. Facebook on... Quash, Kayla? Come on, boo. It's over, boo. That's it. I can't take it no more. Where y'all gonna go on $330 I, a month? Okay, I don't care. We gonna go some damn way, but I just can't deal with you no more. You didn't put Facebook over our uh, marriage. So guess what? Guess what your new status is? Divorce. Divorced. How you gonna get a lawyer? Don't, I ain't paying for no damn lawyer. Look, I don't care, but I ain't, want, I ain't gonna be with your ass. So you and Facebook will have, walk happily on out of here. Go ahead, go ahead. No, you and Facebook, not me. This is me and my children's house. Yes. Go ahead, get on out. name is first on the list. Fuck it, I'm out of here. Okay. You put, your, you put me on child support, I'll uh, kill um, you. Okay. This <laughs> fucking ruined my life. Like, I tried to tell my boss not to put me on the schedule. Only so I could post a status. And then, and then I posted a status about how mean she was because she wouldn't let me post a status. So she fired me. Then I couldn't pay my bills and I couldn't even buy shoes. And now I have to live in a